Hello everyone, I'm Ganiyu Idris Adidayo, the billionaire realtor. You are welcome to another special edition on my YouTube channel. So, as you can see, it is indeed very special. I'll be discussing a very important topic, and this topic concerns everybody, regardless of your age, of your gender, of who you are, or wherever you are. So, this topic is very, very important. It does not only concern you, it concerns your family member, your relatives, your just make sure it. Before I continue, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't just subscribe, watch other videos I've done and recorded in, in the past. Turn on the notification so that you will notice when I drop another channel, another videos on my channel, and also comment on my previous videos. And should the case you want any topic, should the case you have any topic on mind that, that you want me to talk about, kindly comment below. So the interesting topic and important topic I'll be discussing upon today is major reasons why you are yet to own any real estate investments, why you are yet to build any house, and why you are yet to own any land to your name. Believe me, many people usually believe that they need money to before they can invest in real estate. They need millions of naira, they need several hundred uh, thousands of naira. Actually, this is true to an extent, but it's just a bad misconception. Truly, you don't you need money, but you need more than money to invest in real estate. So have you ever asked your parents how they're able to build their first house? Have you ever asked your your elder relatives, your elder uncles, your sister or aunties how they buy their first land? So they will tell you that they don't even know how to do it, but they are able to do it. So it means there is more to owning property than just having millions in, in accounts. So than just stacking up money. So if you think money is what is keeping you, what is stopping you from investing in real estate, I can say you are entirely wrong. And by the end of this episode, you'll be able to agree with me that it is not money that stops you from investing in real estate. So if you are yet to own your first real estate investment, one of the number one reason is because you lack a very good information. It's lack of quality information. Believe me, some of us could have been doing more than what we are doing right now, but we are doing lesser. It's not because we don't have the ability to do beyond what we are doing. It's because it's not because we are not smart enough or intelligent enough. It's just because we lack the information that can take us from the current level we are to another higher level. So that's that same thing comes down to real estate investment. So several people are using iPhone 14, iPhone 15, iPhone whatever. But ask them, do you have any land? They'll be like, no, I don't have any land. But they, they lack the information that with just 600,000 naira, they can own a plot of land to their name. So if you tell them, they'll be like, they'll, they'll be like is it possible? So lack of quality information stops so many people from investing in real estate. I have several clients that once I meet them, see, the first time I met them, I talked to them about real estate investment. They were like, what, I, what you are telling me, do you think it's true? Is it possible? Do you think I can buy land easily like that? So, but after they bought their first property from me, they were like, Ganiyo, I wish I've met you earlier. So, that is what information can do. Having quality information at hand can make you use that amount of money to own several related investments. But without the information, you'll be spending the money or you may be spending the money wrongly. Do you know how much they sell block? Do you know how much they sell the bank of cement? You don't know. Maybe your current um, house rent can build few few rooms. Maybe your current house rent can complete um, a mini flat on just 300 square meters of land. You don't know. So what stops you from one of the th the major and the most important thing that stop you from only related in, um, investment is because you lack quality information. If all information you have, if you have a good information regarding related investment, I'm sure that you would have invested the money rightly. So in conclusion, I want you to do a little search. Look around your neighborhood. Can you see people building two bedroom flats on a small piece of land? Some people even move into the into the house when it is when it is yet to be completed. These are people that didn't have a good educational knowledge, but they are fine. But when it comes to real estate investment, they are educationally sound. So and these are people that even have a little formal, formal education. So I'm sure that you agree with me that what limits you, if you are yet, yet to own any real estate investment, the major thing that limits you is because you don't have a good knowledge, a good information about how to put your money to good use when it comes to real estate. The second reason that may be the result why you are yet to own any real estate investment is because of the fear of unknown. Believe me, I've spoken to like hundreds of clients, like hundreds of prospects before they turn clients, 
I usually see fear is body on them when they are, they are uh, when they are about to make their first related investment. Many of them will be like, Gani you, they say government will collect the land for me. Gani you, they say Omonile can do this and that. Say Gani you, they say all sorts of fears that does not exist. But believe me, it's good to have this fear. So I've noticed that even the best are something, or they are always afraid when they want to do that that same thing again. So that's why the fact that they are the best at it, they will become afraid that will they not talk less of people that just want to do it for the first time. Even people that have been investing in real estate for several, several years, several, several decades. I mean big people that have houses over here and there in different states. Anytime they are about to make any latest investment, fear always run down their body. So it's very, very normal. Just that the kind of people have mastered how to let the fear go. So if you are here to own any latest investment, it's because this fear has taken a large part of your heart. So and many of these fear they are not real. So are you afraid that you may be fake, you may be scammed, or you may be duped, or you may be defrauded? Possibly this this happened in real estate, but not only limited to real estate. People are defrauded when it comes to any other investment. Just mention is it cryptocurrency? Is it stocks? So, but there is a solution to it. Are you afraid that or money like can come and attack you? They can collect your land from you or the likes. Are you afraid of buying property and the government taking it away from you? So all this have solution. So don't let this fear grip you. So don't let this fear take a toll on you. So if you are afraid that all this thing can happen to you, I will advise you to do your due diligence or you work with a reputable realtor. A realtor that knows the job, that knows the onion. So this will save you from any issue you are afraid that can happen with you in the future. Believe me, it is very difficult to do to put one money to good use. It is very difficult to do good things. But after you've done it, you are going to reap the, the, the reward for several, several years. Imagine you have some money, some millions in your bank. You know you can use the money to buy land. Talk to a reputable realtor and they find a, a, a better, a suitable latest investment for you. It is still like Lagos in Badon, any anywhere. So you are afraid to buy the property, right? But just looking, just imagine you now bought the property. Imagine 10 years down the line, you're about to sell the property. You bought the property at 3 million, and you now want to sell for 15, 20, 20 30 million naira. Imagine yourself in that scenario. So, can you see the way you are feeling? So, that thought is what should push you to invest in real estate. But I will advise you and I will encourage you make sure that you work with reputable people in the real estate industry and also do your due diligence. The next point, this is the third one, and this can also be the reason why you are yet to put your money to good use by investing in real estate. I've said this like countless times that real estate still remain the best and the safest investment, like 100% risk free investment if you if done the right way. But a particular reason that may prevent you that that keeps making you not to have invested in real estate it because of the people you are talking with, you get. So they say success begets success. So is the other way around. So if the people you are talking with that, oh, I want to buy land, you consult your friends, your family, your relatives, and they are like, don't buy that land, you'll be scammed, you'll be duped. So this can, these people can make you not to invest in properties. So I actually have a cheat code for this. I tell people that if you want to do good things, go and meet people, go and consult people, go and seek for advice from people that, that have done that thing, like that have gone beyond the level you are going. Those people will never discourage you against what you want to do. You want to buy your, your first land, you want to buy your first house, and you talk to people that have invested several millions of naira, like people that have owned like several houses in, 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 in different cities. Those people will, will make sure that they will blame you for not have done that earlier and they will take you by the hand and make you make that investment. They will also guide you on it. You don't do this successfully. But if you are talking to people that maybe they are your friends, but they don't own any, any land to their name, out of jealousy, they will discourage you not to do it. Or if not out of jealousy, it may be out of too much care, they will be like, you may lose your money and they will discourage you. But at the end of the day, they are not the one that lose. You are the one that lose. So, should the kids want to take advice next time, take advice from people that you know they have done the same thing you want to do. Such people will guide you, such people will support you, and they will make sure that you do it successfully. So, the kind of friends you are talking with, the kind of relatives you are talking with, and the kind of people that are giving you advice and counsel may be the major reason why you are here to invest in real estate. All right, this is the fourth reason 
that that may be the factor why you are here to invest in real estate. So, and this is also the final. I mean, this is the last one. We all know that um, all fingers are not equal. Some people are well to do, some people are financially buoyant, while some people they are not that financially buoyant. So, due to financial setback, this may be a reason why people, why some of us may not have invested in real estate yet. I used to tell, I used to ask people questions, particularly people that want to invest in real estate for the first time. Ask them that. You mean if you don't have money at hand, you will not be able to do good, good things in life. Like without money, what you achieve anything good in life? They'll be like, eh, 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 eh. So we know you are not financially buoyant, but having assets is very important. Like because out of the three most important things for survival. So number one is um, is food. Number two is shelter, and number three is clothing. So it means if shelter can be out of the three important things for survival as for for every woman being then it means it's as compulsory as every other thing having related investments as compulsory as eating on a daily basis so if you are like because you are financially depressed or financially this and that that's why you are yet to invest in real estate there's always a way around it believe me so in the 21st century several related companies they now make land to become so affordable for people. In fact, to the extent that they can also pay the instrumental payment. There are some properties that you can make payment within the next one year, within the next six months. Some goes as within the next 24 months, that's like two years. So, and this should not discourage any. You don't need to buy property in the city. You can buy in local places, in villages, in just upcoming towns, in just develop, developing area. So in short, only property is compulsory. Having financial setback may be reason why better to invest in real estate, but don't let that depress you. I, I recently had, had, had an interview with a teacher that built house in, um, in, a, in a part of Lagos. So it's a primary school teacher and they earn 50,000 naira per month. So I was just opportunate to meet him at the particular real estate program I attended. So and I think I was just interviewing him and asking him question about how he was able to do it. So he said um, the landlord told them to pack out because of issues that happen like and without any prior notice so this now made his in-law to go and collect some loan source loan for him to get his first land and this man earned 50,000 naira every month so he was able to secure some loan through his in-law buy a plot of land somewhere in Lagos like going play place in Lagos so because this man was just at his train he had to force himself to develop another source of income to find another source of income so this source of income was what he now used to build his house and within a year he completed the house and moved into it. So if something didn't happen, if he was not pursued from the house by the landlord, he may not be able to stretch himself to build out. But and this is a primary school teacher. The man is still a teacher till, till, till today. So if a teacher can build houses and you are, you are earning more than that, you are doing more than that. So nothing stops you from buying your first land. Not to stop you from building your first house. In conclusion, investing in real estate is as important as eating because having a shelter is one of the three pieces of life, like one of the three important factors for survival. And upon that, if you think money is what discourages you from owning property, no, you are entirely wrong. What makes people to own property is determination to own one. Over the years, I've observed that it is not money that makes people to invest in real estate determination to own property that make people to invest into real estate. So if you are adapting me, you can ask your parents, you can ask your uncles and they will tell you the same thing. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm sure you enjoyed this episode. So and so before you go, make sure you click on the subscription button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So I share valuable information about real estate. And upon that, make sure you like this video, make sure you comment and also watch other videos I've released on this channel. And I'm sure you'll be wild, you'll be wild. Thank you very much.